got Travis Garland in the studio with us tonight. What's good? What's good? Man, you your turn up is so real. He came in here, Cookie Monsters, and we're like, oh, would you like a, a bottle of water or something? He's like, no, 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 I brought whiskey. <laughs> Thinking it was a joke, the dude no. pulls out a flask of whiskey. Del South Boy, Del South Boy. Cheers. <laughs> well, thank you. Welcome to Carissa's Cookie Jar. Thanks for coming. Of course. It's I'm excited to talk to you. You just released a mixtape, Fashionably Late, Volume 2, even volume though you two. were early. You were uh, early today. <laughs> I was like right on time. You were right on time. You right were right on time. On time. We're going to get into a little bit more about you and how you came from NLT to now, to the flyness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into DJ Charisma, Abby De La Rosa. Hit us on the chat. Let us know what you want to hear. Ask Travis Garland whatever you want to ask him. He's and let's run uncensored tonight. Let's go ahead and start it off with the tra Travis Garland record. This one's called Home Wrecker. Hey, oh, so let's up, go ahead up. and get ready. Home Wrecker. Let's go. Check DJ Charisma, kick the chat. Mitchell.com, Charisma's Kiki Job. We're back. Travis Garland. Yeah, yeah. He asked me right now, what did I think of that Beyonce track? Let us know what you think in the chat. Beyonce just dropped it yesterday, so it's like that brand, brand, brand new oh, yeah. shit. Fresh off the cookies. I said, hey. I, exactly, you get it. I said it's the H-Town shit, and Travis was like, what you know about that H-Town? So you don't know nothing about that. Come on. Is that where you're from, H-Town? Right. No, I'm from Lubbock. Okay. But, you know, I've lived all over Texas. All over Texas. Yeah. We were just in South, at South by Southwest, so it was my first time in Austin. What'd you think? Pretty cool. It was awesome. It was dope. The, so weather was, the weather was the weather was cool. It was beautiful right now. It's like super hot though, yes. now, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It was yeah. definitely definitely tank top weather. But um, all right. So let's go into Travis Garland. They're saying on the chat, play some NLT. NLT. Oh, we don't have to do that. To Travis Garland. <laughs> we don't have to do that. Right. Break that down. <laughs> like I, I'm not even gonna front. I texted Chris. I was like, let's play, let's play this NLT joint because in high school it was my favorite. What song? Do it like I love it. Do it like I love it. Okay, we can play that. That joint is fresh. I loved it. I thought it was like the sexiest thing to me at the time. I love that. How did you go from transitioning to boy group into this? Into this, into this yeah. sexy type romance, of romance type. Yeah. Um. Man, I don't know. Like in the group, I was always, you know, um, just developing my songwriting and when the group kind of ran its course or whatever, you know, it was only natural for me to just go back to songwriting again. Obviously, I knew the stereotypes back then. We were doing writing sessions together. And so I saw John out actually at a party and he was like, hey, we need to come work on this. And I was like, let's do it. You know, so we started working together and developing the sound and over the past year has kind of gotten to where it is now. So Fashionably Late, was that written with stereotypes where you guys already linked up together it was yeah, yeah yeah that whole project was me and stereotypes collaborating so you never dropped music it just all happened to come about with the stereotypes and you and making yeah music together. Yeah, you know i put out some stuff in the past just kind of here and there but um you know that was kind of like before i really figured out my sound and i'm still figuring out what NLT is but i think we're a lot closer were you afraid breaking away from the boy group type of scene? Were you always like in the back of your mind, oh my God, is this really going to work for me? Or Man, I, I'm not an overanalyzer like that. But I will say, though, when I first started like getting out there and doing shows by myself and, you know, um, just kind of getting out there, it was like, it was hella weird just being all up there by myself. <laughs> you know, it was like, damn, all the pressure's on me. But at yeah. the same time, it's dope because, you know, as an artist, like I have so much to say as a songwriter, you know, so it's really dope to just kind of... Um, I'll get all my own ideas out there. Now, were you stuck in that pop sound? Like, did you were you always afraid to move away from it, or did you just want to? Um, not explore. necessarily stuck there, but um, you know, it's actually the stereotypes that were like encouraging me to go in that direction because you know, I I do all different genres. I do blues. I grew up singing gospel in church, mm -hmm. R and B, soul, pop. You know, that's all a part of you know me. But the guys were like, I think you should really hone in on your side your R&B sound and did you even know that side existed no no I did I definitely did <laughs> like I said I grew up singing in the church so I'm, I'm definitely yeah. like a soul boy at heart you know what I mean yeah. but soul boy wow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, a, I'm like an R&B type of guy in heart those are all my favorites oh okay so here at Christmas Cookie Jar we call we like to call this cookie our oatmeal cookie classic it's our throwback and you can hear it in the background why don't you explain why you chose this joint Man, I picked this joint just because I grew up loving, you know, R&B and Neo Soul has had a big influence on me and Marcus. So obviously it's natural when you think Neo Soul, you think artists like D'Angelo, One Hill, hey. Music Soul Child. <laughs> so yeah, this joint is uh, it's Music Soul Child for the night. Here we go. Let's get into Travis Garland's Oatmeal Cookie Classics. It's Christmas Cookie Jar, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Number 
Breaks.com for Mrs. Cookie Jar. We're back. Travis Garland. He's hey. not a joke. That was deep getting to you, most definitely. Torque Master Abby in the building. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. We're not even getting into that. Okay, we'll get let's, into it later. let's yeah. answer some of these questions in the chat. Okay, so people want to know, how many songs are in your damn iPod, Travis? Uh, Roughly guessing, I say, like, five, 6,000, maybe. Nice. Five, 6,000. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Pretty thorough. I DJ on the side. It's a hustle. Okay. You know? <laughs> I'm no charisma, but, you know. <laughs> okay, what's your opinion on the JT album? Uh, I just got it, like, the past week. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I think it's fresh, man. Yeah, I'm rocking with it. Okay. And, Travis, are you drinking alcohol in that glass? This is uh, Diet Shasta. <laughs> this is Diet Shasta, so... Yeah. <laughs> All right, I see a couple more <laughs> questions in the chat, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's talk about, we're about to drop one of your joints, Where to Land. Let's do it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why it. Why Where to Land? Uh, Why not Where to Land? You see what I did there? Reverse to did. You really did. Journalism <laughs> tactics over here. <laughs> you, we can find that song on Fashion of Blues 8, Volume 2. Yeah. That has to be one of my favorite songs. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, we did that joint in London. I was out there with Stereotypes for like a week. And um, I think we had that track already made. But like the second day, I just kind of like caught the vibe of London and the nightlife. We could definitely tell you're like getting a sex job. Yeah, like, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was definitely like inspired by London. Kind of inspired the whole vibe of everything. So, okay, okay. We shot the video out there with me. Well, we got to drop that charisma. Let's get into that. Why don't you introduce it? Yeah, so what up, fam? It's your boy Travis Garland, and this is my new single. It's called Where to Land. Check it out. It's Christmas cookie jar, cookie jar. Travis Garland, Blue Electric Roses. Yeah. Sexy joint. Yeah. Blue Electric Roses. Why the title? I'm intrigued by your title. Well, Abby. <laughs> uh, no, nah, Blue Electric Roses is actually, um, we were writing the joint and we wanted to do a uh, song about love at first sight. Mm. And so actually, Blue Roses are symbolic for love at first sight. So, oh, like, you know, look at you. You know, I just try, I just read the house, come up with ideas and stuff. Hey, I have to know that. That's a perfect song, Charisma, because we're actually going to get into our second cookie of the night. It's the sugar cookie, the sexiest joint. Hey. So you got to answer some sexy questions for the ladies. Oh, shit. All right. All right. So what's the sexiest thing a lady's ever done for you? Um, I think it's really sexy when a girl cooks for me. Cooks. I, that is like the sexiest thing. Favorite meal. Favorite meal? Um, steak. Steak. Yeah, anything steak. You're like a southern boy. Like I'm a just southern some, boy. Some whiskey and steak. Just give me some raw meat and some whiskey. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the sexiest thing you've ever done? Tables turn. For a girl? Yes. Um, let's see. One time I got, like, hella rose petals and, you know, did the whole cooking thing, wine, all that. Did you make a raw meat and some whiskey? Uh, it wasn't raw, <laughs> but it was close. Oh! Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm actually a grill master, so I grilled it up. A grill master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if Travis Garland could be any kind of dessert, what kind of dessert would you be and why? Any kind of dessert. Think about this for a second. I would probably be, um, let's see, I don't know, some sort of cheesecake. Some sort of cheesecake. Well, what kind of cheesecake? I don't know, something exotic, you know, to let them know that I'm not playing around. <laughs> You know, something that's a little different. Maybe like a pineapple cheesecake or just something weird like that. Pineapple cheesecake. <laughs> Chris was like, that sounds good. No, good. <laughs> pineapple cheesecake, yep. Put it in my bio. All right, Travis Garland is pineapple cheesecake. Yep. As it should be. And ladies, you better know how to cook if you're going to come to try to holla at him. Wow, man, so much pressure. <laughs> the girls are like, all right, we're out. Have a good show, guys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cook, get off the chat. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Our numbers just drop by half. I know. Now. It's crazy. Come on, lady. All right, girls. I'm... Hey. Wow. 
Mix Show dot com. Christmas cookie jar. That was new. Before this one, it was new. Eric. Gunger. Eric. Gunger. Shout out to Eric. Yeah. What up, bro? Your fans have been asking you, is there gonna be a collab soon with you and him? Definitely, man. That's my guy. Uh, we actually co-wrote uh, Home Record together, which is on Fashion Lane Volume Two. Oh. So yeah, definitely. I'm always trying to get him with Eric. Man. Both oh. are super soulful. Eric's crazy, man. I'm just trying to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> So around here, we like to do something called dipping your hand in Charisma's cookie jar. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And in order to become an official cookie monster, you got to throw down some vocals for us. Can you yeah. do that? I can do that. Acapella? I can do that. Acapella? You can do that. Acapella. So let's, <laughs> all right, yeah. let's turn the beat down. Let's go. Charisma's cookie jar. Yeah. All right, here we go. Who'd have thought you'd have turned out like this? Girl, you're so fine, yeah. Stole my heart way back when we was just kids. You stayed on my mind. And I would pull your braids, then I'd run away like boys do. No, no. And you were mean to me, probably cause you liked me too. No. But girl, when you get grown, grown into a woman of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Cause baby girl, it's You and I both know it's so much more. Woohoo. Abby D. Have your way with me. <laughs> yeah. I love Word. how he, I love how he was making direct, direct eye contact. Direct eye contact. Oh, yeah. usually, the whole time. <laughs> usually it's me doing that, but he definitely flipped the script to today. Travis so. Garland. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! He's an official cookie monster. Woo! Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Do I get some sort of badge or like a medal? Maybe, something? maybe. We got we have some cookies have in the some cookie, cookie jar. Jackets. We'll talk about it later. Cool. <laughs> All right, Carissa, what are we about to get into? All right, let's let's get into some more Travis. This one is called Neighbor. Yeah. Hey, hey, won't you tell me a little go. bit about this? Who produced it? Like, yeah, this is my uh, it's my hood shit. Oh, produced by the stereotypes. <laughs> you do hood shit. I do some hood shit occasionally <laughs> when the mood strikes. All right, let's go. I'm loving it. Travis loving Garland. It. It's Christmas cookie <laughs> jar. Yo, you are hilarious. Welcome back. Your laugh is hilarious. I don't know what you're talking about. It makes people want to laugh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you could laugh right now. I wish the Cookie Monsters could hear, could hear his laugh. It's like arrogant. Like, ha ha! I can't laugh. Can't laugh. Can't laugh. Can't laugh. <laughs> All right, man. We're about to come to an end of Christmas Cookie Time. Oh, that went by fast today. Thank you so today. much for coming through. Thank you. Thank you guys for having right, me. Wait, is there going to be any shows soon? Where can we find you? Yeah, Where can we stock man. you? Or yeah, can we yeah. download your shit? Yeah, well, I'm, doing a show, uh, I'm doing a show in L.A. on the 27th at House of Blues. Ooh, so, yeah, come through. It's going to be real, real ratchet. You Are know? you going to be in Jersey anytime soon? Uh, am I going to be in he Jersey said ratchet. anytime soon? It's going to be real ratchet. <laughs> it's going to be real ratchet, you know. Anyway, yeah, I'm doing that. Um, you know, just working on the follow-up to Volume 2, man. What so, can we expect? Can, can you give us any uh, I can't, I'm not, I can't what, say what too much mean? now. I mean, it's still kind of just, you know, in the oven getting cooked up. Okay. But uh, definitely go download my EP. It just came out a couple weeks ago. It's called Fashion Me Late Volume 2. Super, super fly. Yeah. Okay. So you. give them your Twitter, your Twitter, slash, slash Facebook, Travis Garland, Facebook, SoundCloud, Travis Garland Music, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know Everything where to find me. Everything Travis Garland. <laughs> like it. Yeah, Shout man. out to the stereotypes. Shout out to the stereotypes in the building. Ray Rowe and Johnny Screens. But respect those In the building. Man, Ray Rowe, fresh off the uh, JT yeah. suit and tie over here. Oh, yeah. he's looking fly he's though. He's got himself. the gold on. He's feeling himself. Everything. With his, clip, with his clip on bow tie. <laughs> clip on bow tie. Is it a clip on bow tie? Yes, of, course. of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, Ratchet. I got you, bro. Ratchet. All right, Travis Garland. Cruises Kiki Jar, Abby De La Rosa. Every Monday night, Every tell Monday a friend. Night. Nine o'clock is how we do it, all R&B. How are we going to end the night, Chris? I got a brand new joint from a young kid named B. Smith. Okay. This record is called Let Go, and it's featuring 2 Chains. Okay. This one's for the club. It's from our ratchet girls. Travis Garland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. Gotta, we got to sip on that whiskey together. I don't so know if there's any left, but oh. you're welcome to whatever's left. <laughs> Turn up a sober. Yeah. <laughs>